everyone! I know it's been a while since I did a video and I thought today would be a great time to do a video on sand dollars. You guys all love sand dollars, everyone does, and everybody hopes to find one on the beach when they go shelling. I am on beautiful Sanibel Island today down by the West End and it is windy and the waves are crashing and bringing in all kinds of fun things. And I did find four sand dollars today to show you. They are all not alive and I get asked all the time on how to tell if a sand dollar is alive or dead. And you do not want to take live sand dollars for many reasons, but the biggest reason is here on Sanibel it is illegal to take live shells. And um, even if you're in an area that is illegal to take live shells, I, I still would not recommend it. I'm not a big fan of live shelling, whether it is legal or not. But the easiest way to tell is you want to look at the sand dollar on the bottom for legs. So you can see that the sand dollar is dark. Just because it's dark does not mean it's alive. If you look through the hole right here, the little keyhole, you will see that it has little legs, little feet. Can you see that? And you can see in this one too. However, if you flip it over, you will see that it does not have any feet on the bottom. Right here, it's completely all smooth and all of the feet have fallen off. So when the sand dollar passes away and it's no longer alive and it starts to dry out, all of the feet will very easily come off and rub off with the sand and the shells around it. And the only feet that will be left is in the hole because they're not able to get rubbed off. I'm rubbing right here and they're, they're protected in the little hole. So this sand dollar is no longer alive, but it is still dark because it hasn't had a chance to bleach out in the sun. Same thing with this little guy here. Again, dark, still dark, and you can kind of see a little bit of remnants of feet in the little hole. But if we flip it over, again, perfectly smooth. No little feet on the bottom. And you would see the little feet. It would be completely fuzzy, covered in little feet. And this one, you'll see that it's two different colors. And that is because it is in the process of drying out and in the process of bleaching out and it will get lighter and lighter as it gets bleached. Again, if you flip it over, no feet on the bottom. It is completely smooth. And finally, we have one that has been out on the beach. This was found in a shell pile, and you can see that it has a little damage there. They are extremely fragile when they get to the bleaching out stage and the completely bleached out stage, which is completely white. So if you do find them in this stage or completely white, be very, very careful handling them, getting them home, and you will see that this is getting there um, a couple more days in the sun and this will probably be completely white. But again, it is very, very fragile and this is probably gonna be the state that you guys are normally used to seeing sand dollars. So just because they're not pure white does not mean that they are alive. Another really fun thing about this guy is you'll notice that he's not perfectly round. You'll see that he has some damage here. And this shell was actually cracked before he passed away. And you'll know that because you can kind of see around the edges, it's not a clean break. This actually started healing while he was still alive, which is kind of unique. So just like starfish that can grow back their legs, sand dollars can heal themselves as well. Um, if, it's, if it's a minor, minor chip or minor crack, they actually can heal themselves back to whole. It does take a little while but they can mend themselves and repair themselves. Unfortunately, this little guy still didn't make it. He probably got washed up on the beach and dried out. Um, but you hopefully have a good idea now of how to tell if a sand dollar is alive or not. If you come across one and it is dark and you are not sure, find someone on the beach to ask. And if there's no one to ask and you're really not sure, the best thing to do is just put it back in the water, place it back into the water. Um, even if it's your very first sand dollar and you really want to take it home um, and, you're, and you're not sure if it's alive, do the right thing. And I promise you the shell gods will bless you again with another sand dollar or even better shells. So I hope this tutorial helped you on sand dollars and I hope you guys have a lucky shelling day. Bye-bye.